Hey guys, it's Melissa from Melissa's Creations and I have a haul to show you guys. I'm really excited to get this haul started and um, show you all of the wonderful papers from the new mini catalog as well as a few celebration items and some other popular items from the 2020 mini catalog. Quick, We're going to dive into my haul that I just got. I actually got it a couple days ago, but I'm just now having a little bit of a moment to be able to get into it with you guys. But here is Le Box, and let me get out my handy dandy box opener device. Look how pretty that is. I just love it. It's so pretty. Okay, so here we go. So just going to open the box and we'll dive right in. How are you guys doing? What's the weather like where you are? It was supposed to be snowmageddon here, but honestly, it really did not do very much. My husband and I just um, traded in our cars for one, we traded in two of our cars for one new car and we had to take it back to the dealership to get some things done to it. And that is about a 30 to 40 minute drive from where we are. So it was it was a little bit of a track and there was a little bit of ice on the road, but it wasn't too bad. And now it's sunny here. So we're supposed to get snowmageddon, but nothing really happened. Okay, so here are some lovely goodies. Let's just get right into it. Um, first of all, Mountain Air. Isn't this gorgeous? These are double-sided stamps. So these are photopolymer, and you can see that there are technically seven stamps, but there's 14 images because on one side you have the mountains, and on the reverse side you have the shadow of the mountains, like this. So that's the same with all of these stamps. So technically you're getting 14 different images, the background and the detail. So that's that. And with this, you don't put any, well, I guess with photopolymer, you don't really put stickers on anyway, but they did print them on this page for you so you know exactly where your stamps go back. I love that, that is amazing. These do have coordinating dies. These are the Majestic Mountain dies. So we can pop these open and they basically work with all of these stamps in there. Just, I'm not gonna open every single one of these, but I'll kind of give you guys a once over on this one. Oh, look at these trees, you guys. These trees are so beautiful, I love that. And then we have the mountain range here, and then we have like an edgelet kind of cutout thing, this guy here, which coordinates with this one, I do believe. And then cloud, so very cool. Now, you don't really need one for the moon because I think one of our circle punches will coordinate with that just fine. So that is one item. Now, there's a lot of stuff in here, so I'm just gonna kind of breeze through most of the rest of it real quick. Um, let's see what else. Pedal to the metal, isn't that cute? Oh my gosh, so adorable. All right, let's see what else. Of course, okay, we'll get to that one in a minute. I think that goes with this. This goes with that, and I'll talk about that in a second. Oh, actually, that goes with that. I don't know where that one goes. <laughs> All right, these go together. The Honey Bee Bundle. Of course, you guys know this one is amazing. It is awesome, very popular. I highly, highly recommend if you don't have the Honey Bee Bundle, you jump on that bandwagon right now. I've done tons of stuff with it. You'll be able to see all of that gorgeousness. Okay, so that's, oh, that's right, okay. That is, okay, these go together over here. This is this, and this is this. Okay, and ribbon, tons and tons of ribbons, and those. I'm just trying to make sure I remember where everything goes. Now, I did end up getting three spools. That might be a little overkill, you guys. But I got three spools of the Ruched Daffodil Delight Ribbon. These coordinate beautifully with the Honey Bee Sweets um, stamps as well as the specialty paper from the Celebration Catalog. So I wanted to make some samples and I wanted to pick that up. Perfect color for spring as well. Okay, so hi Malia, thanks for joining. 
All right, so I'll go over that in a minute. This is all of the Beautimus paper. Now, for the Peaceful Poppies, you guys, I am loving these Peaceful Poppies. It is amazing. So let's take a look here. I think it's right there. All right, so Peaceful Poppies. So I got this entire suite here, which includes this 12 by 12 Peaceful Poppies DSP. It includes both the Painted Poppies bundle and the Peaceful Moments bundle. So you get two stamp sets and two sets of dies. You've got the Peaceful Poppies sequins, the crinkled seam binding ribbon in Whisper White, and then the Peaceful Poppies elements. So this is what we're going to use to create a card today after we're done with our, our unboxing. Now to get all of these products, you can save that 10% still on those bundled products. You can just get the sweet bundle. Here it is right here on the side. And for the cling mount one, uh, 36.50, that's for all of this stuff here. So you still get that 10% discount on the stamp set and dies when you bundle those two together. So we're gonna make one of these. Haven't decided which one yet. Oh, so many beautiful, beautiful choices. So let's see, that looks like it's probably some DSP going on. This one also has some DSP and some vellum happening with that little number. That one is very pretty. So we'll we'll decide in just a second. Let's get through the rest of this stuff. So that Peaceful Poppies includes these elements here, this ribbon, this uh, pack of sequins. That is for the paper share. Um, both of these stamp sets and coordinating dies. I love this one because look at all of these beautiful sentiments that you get and you have beautiful fonts. Very cool. And then also, of course, you've got those coordinating stamp and cut and embossed dies. And then here is the painted poppies along with those coordinating dies. So we're going to dig into those in just a minute. So let me set those aside. And then, of course, we have the Painted Poppies paper somewhere in here. Now, I I did just do, oh, here we go. And I got an extra one as, as well. So here's the Painted Poppies paper. So I'm going to put that with our goodies. We're going to open that up today. Now, I do have all of this beautiful paper in here from the paper share that I did. And bonus, look at this. Oh, my gosh. I am so in love. So... Celebration, if you don't know, is happening right now. Every $50 you spend, you get to get one one free $50 item or one free $100 level item, depending on how much you spend out of the Celebration Flyer. This Golden Honey Specialty Designer Series paper has gold foil in it. It is gorgeous, so of course I had to stock up. Um, this is amazing. So... Um, Again, this is all my paper share. If you're interested in joining my paper share, um, send me a message. I'll give you some more info on that. Set all that aside. I have to chop all that up later, hopefully later tonight. I might go live um, and chit chat with you guys later tonight if I do that. Okay, now here are some more celebration items. So number one, the lily pad stamp set and coordinating stamp and cut and emboss dies. Those were both celebration items. The stamps you can earn with a $50 purchase. And I believe the um, the dies are a $100 purchase. Oops, I'm going to lose all my stuff. Hold on. So here's the celebration flyer. You can find it on my blog at mcreations.com. Just click on catalogs. So here's the stamp set. Again, those are the reversible stamps. So you get eight physical stamps, but 16 images overall. And this is free with a $50 purchase. Oops, yep, there goes my paper. <laughs> and then over here we have the lily pad dies. Now this is free with a $100 purchase. So every $50 you spend, you get at least one $50 reward or you can stack them and get use two of the 50s to get an, an a hundred dollar item So it has more information in the front here on um, how you redeem your rewards 
So that's that. And then this cute little lady, this stamp set is free when you host a $300 or more party. So because this workshop that I did here was over 300, qualified to get that free stamp set. Now, I think this one might be available while supplies last. And the celebration items usually are while supplies last, yes. Supplies are limited and may run out before the promotion ends. So if you see something in this catalog or that I'm using today that you really like, you're gonna wanna jump on that as soon as you can. So, Peaceful Poppy Sweet. I am really digging on this card right here. Now, I don't have the directions for all of these projects in front of me, so I'm just going to wing it and I think I'll be able to figure it out. Now the background card base for this card here looks like it's going to be the Rich Razzleberry. Could be Blackberry Bliss, but I'm thinking it's Rich Razzleberry. So I'm going to grab that out. Okay, so that's gonna be the card base. Set that aside. I'm just gonna gather all of my supplies for that card real quick. So I can do this. All right, so I'm going to need Rich Razzleberry as well as Poppy Parade ink. So I'm gonna grab those. Rich Razzleberry, Poppy Parade. There we go. I'm also going to be using this. And I don't have these little embellishments. Oh, okay, those are just tacks, it looks like. That's how they're keeping them on the board. Okay, so I don't need to worry about that. I will need vellum, but before I grab that, I'm gonna open up the Peaceful Poppies Elements to see what I've got in here. Grab out some scissors. Because there may be some vellum elements in there. I think I do see some vellum, actually. Bum, bum, bum. What do we have here? Okay, so these are thick, like a chipboard kind of um, material. So that's nice. We have these beautiful black die cuts. Okay, and then yes, look right here. Here is that vellum that we were talking about. So I'm definitely gonna need one of those. So there's a vellum sheet. Is there one or two? There's two vellum sheets and two watercolor sheets. Now the cool thing about these watercolor die cuts is they already have some embossing on them as well. So the water, the ink that you use will resist that embossed area. I don't know how well you can see it if the light catches it a little bit. There you go. The light kind of catches it. You can see that those uh, shinier spots will resist the watercolor. So. That's really cool. Okay, so I know I'm definitely gonna use one of these vellum sheets. I'll get that one out. And then we need some Whisper White for the label, not a problem at all. And then they did color those in, and then we're using the white ribbon. Okay, now as far as stamps go, we are going to be using the sentiment there. So that is in Peaceful Moments. And that is this one here, wishing you every happiness this special day will bring. Now I don't know if I have those um, pen colors, so I may have to kind of get creative with how I use my stamp pad. And then the green that they used for the leaves is probably Old Olive. So this is the one we're going to use right here. Ah, there we go. These are so pretty. I love all of these elements and accents. Butamus, okay. So we'll set those aside because I have the one out that I need. And last but not least, we're going to dig into this paper and then we'll finally get started. So, gorgeousness. How many of you guys already have this bundle? How many of you guys want this bundle? It is amazing. Oh, it's so pretty. I mean, look at the colors. They have done so well putting all these together, let me tell you. That is the paper we're using on this card. Love it. All right, so I'm gonna grab that out. There we go. Put the rest of this over meow. 
and then move these slightly out of the way as well. Okay. I'm going to start by chopping up this lovely lady. So I'm going to get my stamp and trimmer. Okay. And standard card base is five and a half by four and a quarter. And that's what it looks like this card is here. So I'm cutting my designer series paper slightly smaller. I'm going to do four by five and a quarter. So four. And it is directional, just keep that in mind when you're making this card as well. And I like cutting the 12 by 12 at four because it's a very even, nice number and you get exactly three pieces of four inch strips out of that section there, so that's good. And then we'll do five and a quarter. So I've got that, now my card base is next. So I'm gonna grab that piece of rich razzleberry that I pulled out. Boom, boom, boom. And again, standard card base. I'm just taking the long edge, cutting it at five and a half. There we go. And then we're going to rotate that and score it at four and a quarter. Okay, all right, we're gonna figure out this situation. So on the sample, we have one, two, three leaves, two large poppies, and one small poppy. So, okay, they're two different ones. All right, so we've got one of those for each card plus a small one. Okay, so there's one card worth. And, we'll do and then I need a total of six leaves, three for each card. One. And again, I'm not sure if they colored these directly, if they used a sponge dauber, if they used a watercolor pen. Okay, did I cut that out right? Yeah, it's one large leaf and two small leaves. Those. So let's get to coloring. I'm going to get my Poppy Parade and my old, old olive. Here we go. So what they've done in the sample is they've colored the word happiness with rich razzleberry and then the other two are poppy parade. Now I don't have a poppy parade marker so what I'm going to do is try to very carefully mask this on one side and I'm going to tear off the sheet, tear off that side. So I'm going to mask the happiness. So I have wishing you every, and I'm gonna mask that. Okay, and then I'm going to get that poppy parade down on there. Okay, so that's all inky. I'm gonna take these masks off, put it onto, and try not to get the other, the other um, sentiment that I just inked up there. Probably a little hard for you to see, but I think you get the point. Try not to cover up the one that I just did. And then I'm going to color in with Ridge Razzleberry my word happiness. See how well I do on the first pass here. I might have to try again. Okay, I'm going to give it a huff and a stamp. <sighs> try and get it as close to the middle as I can so it cuts out well. Yay, that works. It's a little, it, I missed some of the S, just a skosh, but it will totally work. So I've got that on there. Magnetic platform sandwich between two cutting plates. Zip that through. And boom. I love how it embosses the edge as well as cuts the whole thing out. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. Okay, now you could use dimensionals to raise this up on the top. I am going to just go ahead and snail it down. So I'm gonna grab my snail. So you guys, celebration. Let me tell you what, there are three different ways to earn amazing things. 
Number one, you can shop. Every $50 that you spend before shipping and tax earns you one free item out of the celebration flyer. There's a lot of good stuff in there. Oh my goodness. If you saw my unboxing just now, you can go back and watch the replay. I will be posting this to YouTube as well. So there are tons of great things. And hosting a party is amazing because you get a lot of, not only do you get your stamp and rewards, but at a $300 party level, you do earn that little ladybug stamp set for free. So hosting, and then also if you join as a demonstrator, you got lots of free stuff. So normally you already get $125 uh, worth of product for $99, but you also, while supplies last, get a mini paper cutter as well as a sampler pack of 6x6 designer series paper and a free stamp set of your choice from the catalog. So whether you are going to be a kidnapper, whether you're going to do it as a hobby or as a um, business, there are several options for you. There we go. Move the card out. Oh, sorry. Oh, you guys, I'm sorry. Thank you for telling me that. <laughs> I, I'm not remembering to look up uh, at my other monitor thing because I have kind of a different setup right now. Okay, there we go. Is that better? I'm sorry. Um, all right, so with this, I'm going to grab the ribbon. This is the crinkled seam binding ribbon in Whisper White. There we go. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, and it's very fine. Super fine. And that's just going to go on. Oh, I have a little bit of <laughs> ink on there, so it didn't want to go anywhere. So I'm going to put the loop on that end with the S. I'm just going to double this up like this. Actually, I don't need that much. A little bit less. There we go. And there we go, like that. I still probably don't need that much, but I don't know. There we go, okay. There we go, like that. And then I'm going to take some dimensionals and pop this up. Okay, there you go. There is our card. What do you guys think? That was super easy. It was basically just cut and paste. Well, and then we stamped this guy here. And then, of course, if you wanted to, this is a little too busy to add some of these sequins, but the gold might be pretty. We could totally add some of those gold sequins. Those would shine. Let's do some gold. Oh, look at that. Mm-hmm. This would make beautiful shaker cards. I love all those deep, rich colors. You've got black and red and gold. So many beautiful options to choose from. Let's see if I can do this here. I love the gold. It is beautimous. So just do a couple, a couple little ones. And I could get out my little... These are flower shaped too, you guys. They're not even regular sequins. They're actually poppy shaped sequins. I don't know how well you'll be able to see that. Is it is it coming across? Can you see the shape? It's like a little flower. Isn't that cute? I really enjoy that. I'll put two up in the corner there and we'll put one more somewhere else. <laughs> and I'm just kind of putting these on these mini glue dots, but I'm kind of squishing the glue dot underneath so you can't really see it very well. See the glue. So we can put it on here. We could put it, oops, down there on a poppy. I think I want it like right there. Yeah. Oh, that is pretty. Don't want to lose a single sequin because those are gorgeous. Hey, how's it going? There we are. Oh my gosh, you guys, that turned out great. I love it. What do you think? Painted Poppies Bundle, let me tell you, or Peaceful, Peaceful Poppies Suite. 
is amazing. So many good things. I am in love. Now I am going to cut a piece of Whisper White cardstock to go in this in front of that guy, but oh, it turned out great. It's so pretty and it's very colorful and it is pretty peaceful too. All right, you guys, before I let you go, I'm just going to talk to you a little bit more about Celebration. Celebration is amazing. So many great things. Every $50 in product you spend, you get free product from this flyer. There are so many different ways that you can take advantage of the sales right now during Celebration. So number one, shopping, of course, every $50 free item. We already covered that several times. But also when you host a party, and you have party sales of $300 or more, you get this stamp set for free. Look at that little ladybug. Isn't she adorable? She is so stinking cute. Again, it's while supplies last during celebration. Anything out of this flyer, these items could go quickly. When they do, they're not going to be restocked. So make sure you jump on something. If you want it, jump on it now. So another way that you can save is to join. You can be a kidnapper, you can be a hobbyist, or you can be a full-on business demonstrator. There are so many options available for you. I would love to talk to you about all of those possibilities. Let me know, join my team. It's small, but it's great because I can personally deliver you guys the best service that I can. And I am open and ready and let's do it. I'm so excited to have you guys on my team. Whether you're a kidnapper, a hobbyist, or a, or a business demo, I can help you with all of those. So, again, um, when you join or kidnap or whatever you want to do, you get this free mini paper cutter. You get a selection of 6x6 designer series paper in a sampler pack plus a free stamp set of your choice and all of the other good benefits of being a demonstrator, like $125 in product for 99 bucks. So 99 bucks will get you started. Here's that adorable mini paper cutter, perfect for cutting six by six or smaller. You can do a lot of three by four pieces on here. Great for traveling, for smaller projects. And then this is the little sampler pack of DSP. So they come in six by six. I haven't opened it yet, um, but I'm going to be getting into that and sharing some fun projects to do with designer series paper for you as well. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that video. I will talk to you guys soon. If you have any um, questions about celebration or about products out of the mini catalog, I would love to help you out. I'm very close to reaching my goal for January. So your business is always appreciated no matter how big or small. All right, you guys, I will see you soon. Bye.